Hey, what's up guys? Dan H and welcome to the project. Today we are going to take a ride and we're going to pick up my Mustang. It's a 1989 Mustang 5.0 uh, convertible LX and we're taking it from the body shop to the upholstery shop. It needs a new top desperately. Um, I'm not messing with the top. I want it done right. Um, I think the top on it now is original. So it's in bad shape and you'll see that in a minute. Um, I just want to check out this CJ I got for the channel last night for free. This thing, this thing definitely has potential. Um, check it out. Nice interior, a little dirty, but we could clean it up. Hey baby. Yep, we're ready. We're gonna take a ride. Get your shoes on. Let's go. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> so let's go look at the Mustang. Yeah. yeah. We made it. <laughs> Time to go see Daddy's Mustang. <laughs> right, we made it. Had to park around the corner at 7-Eleven because the parking lot is always packed at this body shop. Um, little Mustang history. So I got this convertible Mustang back in 2004. <laughs> Always wanted a Mustang. My buddy Greg, uh, you remember Greg from the very first video on the channel. He found me my Mustang. And uh, forever grateful, thank you buddy. I got that Mustang and I still have it today. I love that car. I had a little accident in 2005, summer of 2005. So I ended up repairing it myself. I did the spray can fix, got it driving again, and then I saved the shekels to get a paint job, I think in the spring of 2006. A friend of a friend recommended Mill Pond Auto Body. And they painted the whole car. They did a fantastic job. Um, it's looked good for 15 years, but here we are. We're gonna see how they did on the new trim. Then we'll take it to the upholstery shop and get a top done. All right guys, you probably have seen this already, but here is the Mustang that I call Blue. Here's the trim we got painted up. This is why we need a convertible top. It's definitely showing its age. All right, so now that we got the trim squared away, we can definitely fix this top. on the trim this is where my mustang has been hiding the last month or so um got some touch-up paint and uh we're gonna get this thing a new top here we go Take a look at the top from the inside. You can see daylight.
hey, check this out. Yeah. This is actually one of the few times in the history of me owning this Mustang that I've ever had to use the wipers. <laughs> Usually I just keep the wipers in the trunk. <laughs> Still running great. All right, that's my 1989 Mustang 5.0 that I call Blue. Blue, you're my boy! Next time you see it, Tommy's going to give a beautiful top to it. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back in front of Sunrise Auto Upholstery. It's about two weeks later, and the Mustang top is done. Check this bad boy out. Oh, I love it. They did a great job. Tommy, Mike, and the guys over at Sunrise hook this thing up. I absolutely love it. It looks sweet. Brand new top. Wow, this thing really looks good. A new top makes a world of difference. All right, let's take a look at the top from the inside. It's amazing in here. It is so much different than that nasty, ugly top with the holes in it. It was literally rotting to pieces. This one is gorgeous inside. What a difference. It looks beautiful and it even smells beautiful in here. So let's see, we got new back glass. We got new rear quarter pads. Of course, we got the new top. And we got new cables on both sides. Check out this old cable. One was stretched and the other was snapped. <laughs> no wonder why it looked lopsided. But I could not be more pleased with the job they did in here. If anybody out there on Long Island is from Western Suffolk County or Nassau County and you need a new top, check out Sunrise. I'll leave their information in the video description. All right, let's get this baby home.
But if you guys like Fox Body Mustangs, you don't want to see more of this, feel free to follow along. Uh, there's a ton of things I need to do to this thing. I need headlights, tail lights, a carpet. Uh, I need an exhaust. And my brother-in-law also has a 1989 Fox Body. His is also an LX, but his is a notchback. He's actually preparing it for a supercharger, and he just did a ton of work to it. If you want to see his, I'm sure he'd love to get that thing on the channel. I've been doing burnouts with Matt since before I could remember. I think Matty had more Mustangs than Foxcast Media. So if you like Mustangs, let me know. I'll be sure to put more Mustang content on my channel. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next project.